Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Overnight, the Australian dollar edges lower and now closer to its objective of 73.70. In light of the pattern, the market still holds to a negative sentiment. However, towards this region, the 73.70 could find profit taking. So I would probably heed a little bit of caution due to the fact that the RSI has got to somewhat at the bottom of its range or close to it or near the oversold region and therefore could see a rebound from 73.70. So I'm not going to get too negative from the bottom side of this range since the rejection from 76.60. The euro was a little bit mixed overnight but still holding around 108.70. The market is still slightly negative to the current technical pattern however keeping a close watch as we could see a little bit of profit taking just in front of that level of 107.5085 as we previously saw this back in March. Resistance still holds somewhere around 109.30 to 109.70. The Donny MK still remains somewhat bullish as it continues to squeeze higher. Looking into the technical pattern though we are extremely overbought and the ADX is extremely high in somewhat is probably the highest I've seen in, in quite a long time. I'm not supportive at these levels and it is coming to a point where I feel the market could take a significant downturn and that is if we see a break somewhere around this region of 124, 30, 50 area. If so, could it open the way back towards 121 and a half. At present, Sterling is still respecting this level, around 130 the figure. It didn't close under there, while well, we did see a brief break. And at present, I feel the market could actually stage a, a rebound from here and look back towards the 131, 132 region. Sterling Kiwi edges higher and now pushes through 190 00 and looks towards 192 figure 50 area as a potential target. We could see a bit of profit taken from there. So just keep a very close watch since the bullish hammer. That is the market may actually take a slight pullback from there if we reach that 192 target first. Gold a little bit stronger overnight and takes a stab at that top side level. We've seen around 1,960, which is where it recently failed. I'm not bullish at this top side of the range here. I feel the market can easily drop somewhere, as we've previously seen in the past, anywhere to about 30 to 40 bucks or points. And still keeping an, an eye on these technicals, the MACD hasn't quite confirmed the bull uh, or positive price action to the rise overnight. So I'm still a little bit skeptical at these levels. And finishing up with all, the market is heading lower since the break of 97 and still looks towards that 92 low region and therefore could see another challenge somewhere around 92.50 or down to about $92 a barrel. It is a key level because if we see a break there, could see a further drop in towards the $80 region. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. But please keep an eye out for the intraday report and also later on the end of the day wrap.